Hi everyone, it's Adam. South End got oh, bloody hell, nearly dropped it then. South End Guy Paranormal. Uh, I nearly went for the new channel name, uh, which will be soon, and we will keep you updated. We are, we have done a couple more bits, so uh, yes, it will be there at some point, and so we will keep you updated. Um, also, with my new channel, I'm starting work. Um, I've been started. I've been doing some work on content uh, that has been sitting there, ready to go on that. So uh, that is getting there as well. So I've been quite efficient, really. Um, my it's partly, muchly to do with. Um, I've got on top of a few things over last week. Uh, my Honda. My Africa twins back with me all repaired so that's sorted that's the job done um my older estate that has been now repaired gearbox is done uh the knocking that came about as a result of the knacker gearbox is sorted and it's mot'd so that sort of job done as well the only thing i've left to do is um you know put my insurance back over onto it and uh, that'll be ready to go um also, this weekend, I managed to get out of my new boat, uh, which will be content I put up on my new channel now. And, uh, yeah, that all went pretty well. Uh, Saturday night was quite funny because um, we had a little get-together. Paul really blew himself. We, you know, we sort of have regular uh, meet-ups for a drink and, you know, have a chat and put the world to rights you know, between ourselves, um, sort of ideas for, for moving ahead with uh, with our channel. And uh, a very strange thing happened. Now, Paul's inner child got the better of him Saturday, and he produced this remote control fart machine. Um, we've all seen them. I've got one. Um, <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I might dig it out soon. I know it's somewhere, but anyway. Yeah, so Paul's got this little remote control fart machine and you just stick the stick it somewhere discreet and you'll sit there and press it and you know to embarrass someone and give everyone a good laugh uh you know i think we all know what they're about anyway so he's put this thing under the table um glorious turned up and he started you know just glorious sat down and press the button it does the noise and you know have a have a very juvenile laugh still good fun you know we're all in the kids at the end of the day but anyway uh so we're doing that so during the evening um when gloria was talking about certain things funny enough this fart machine just went off of its own accord um i i i shit you not the remote paul was nowhere near the remote neither was myself neither was rudy uh and gloria's the other side of the room this thing was going off of its own accord and it went off several times. Um, there's no auto function on this machine. You know, like a, a sort of a timer or <coughs> anything like that. So there was no way this could have got off, gone off unless you pressed the little remote control. But this thing was going off at, at certain times when... <laughs> Chloe was talking about certain things. I can't even remember what she was talking about, but that's what was going on. So, yeah, it was quite strange. Obviously, the previous times we've had um, with Rudy, when that um, alien entity come through and started mucking about their live stream. Um, funny enough, again, for a message with Chloe, so it might have been him having a sense of humour. We don't know. Someone definitely did have a sense of humour, though, because they kept setting it off. And then uh, the other occasion, you know, when we picked up this spirit of a little girl that walked in, um, and it was sitting on Paul's EMF meter, um, you know, and then we got communication via a glass and, and so on. So, um, yeah, it, it, so this thing's just, just sort of tend to happen. But, um, yeah, it was all good. So... Yeah, I mean that's what's basically been going on this week. I'm, I'm, yeah. Um, the last couple of weeks have been a, a bit of a mixed bag for me, um, emotionally and 
other things but uh, this week has been well called very productive um, and right now at the moment I'm just waiting for my triumph to return because that's gone back into the workshop um, I had the seat repaired for that uh, as I think I showed on the video last week so it's now literally just waiting for that to come back and you know all, all my vehicle collection is there and I can get my channel my other channel going in earnest so that stuff what well, I briefly mentioned I will be talking about more at length on my new new channel including going out on a new boat and all the rest of it so uh, but I'll keep everyone abreast on that um so just a couple of things left really um I'm holding back the the content that we have recorded this year it's not a lot at the moment because for one thing I haven't, haven't been able to get out mainly with the weather being crap uh obviously I did a little collab with Paranormal Essex a couple of weeks ago um and uh yeah that was good fun as it always is with Adam but aside from that we haven't been able to do much at the moment we've got ideas in the pipeline I will be going back to uh, Castle Point uh Canvey Benfleet I'll be covering some bits on those areas going back to the bomber site because that's now cleared um if you remember on that last live stream we did it was somewhat disappointing because we had to stand out in the marshes and I wanted to be around at the actual point itself where the mural is but we couldn't do it because of all the um uh strength that's been going on along the seawall but that part of the seawall is now done so we can now have access to it so that that will be on the cards we'll be going back for that as also I want to visit Lakes High Path because I've had a couple of people tell me about stuff that's gone on there plus Benfleet itself with the, the Anglo-Saxon and Viking battles and all the rest of it um it's uh yeah so th th this stuff that's going to pop line but I will, I will get that going w when the channel gets its upgrade and not forgetting of course um the retina content so basically that will involve um Paul was there with his camera as well so I'll be able to splice in both bits of content and uh yeah but obviously we'll keep you updated in due course with that uh also yeah with the sorry me Android Auto has just gone funny then um <laughs> I hope it's not what I think it is but anyway oh for the love of sorry I should turn my notifications off um so yeah we've got the written down we've got the stuff that we're gonna do um i've also got the harridge fault stuff i've yet to edit but as i say i want to try and hold them back a little bit until we can get the the upgrades to the channel done all the updates and then we can get going so yeah that that's that's pretty much it at the moment uh, a couple of things left firstly the content for this wednesday uh will be a follow-on from the last bit of ghost hunter tours stuff that we done last week uh so there's part two to the smugglers cave um that was i think this week will be i think there's a couple of um estus sections uh that will be coming but we've got some good content through there and lastly the next live stream the next live stream so put a date in your diary next monday which will be the 25th next monday the 25th that will be a live stream same time 8 30 come and watch us um come and join in our, our conversations which can have and will be about anything and everything as our previous ones have been um also we can do some card readings for you and anything else that turns up so yeah again any questions Paranormal related, medium related, um, readings related. Join us next Monday for a live vlog and uh, we'll do that all again. I'm going to leave you there. Thanks once again for uh, bearing with us. And, oh dear, Aren't, isn't modern technology great? So thanks once again for um, sticking with us. Um, and being patient whilst we get um, a new stuff underway. Love and light, God bless you all.
see you Wednesday for part two of the Smugglers Cove. And then we'll see you next Monday for the live vlog. Ta-da.